and welcome to the next instalment of the 2021 opening Backyard England Test Match. Unfortunately, due to technical issues, we were not able to bring you the end of Dan's 11's first innings, but the end of that did coincide with the tea break on day two. So we're going to pick things up with the evening session and Alex's 11 looking to enhance their lead. Umpires at the ready, players suitably recharged, and we are ready to get going here again at the magnificent Bromley Tennis Centre. And a big thank you to them for allowing us to use their superb facilities to stage this opening test match of the 2021 Backyard England series. Pitch hasn't quite played how we expected. I think that's a combination of some good bowling and some lacklustre batting. We expected this to be a pitch where 200 was part. But Alex's 11's 171 already seems like a decent total now. They bowled magnificently, particularly Una McGregor and Rob Maguire. They will be very, very happy with how that innings panned out for them. Dan's 11 facing a bit of an uphill battle at the moment. Trail by 48. They're going to need to make a big start here. And that starts with removing the captain. Made just one in the first inning, Smith. Poor umpiring decision cost him there. Lewis Chapman at the other end, batted well, dug in for a long time in the first innings, but then had a bit of a brain fade, left a straight one off Neil Murphy. And it's Gurpal Singh who's going to start things off for us once the field is ready to go. Looks like Dan's 11 has corrected the absence of a leg slip in the first innings. There were 54 extras in the first innings for Alex's 11 that could be important, could be costly. A lot of buys and leg buys down the leg side. And the leg slip is now in to correct that. And it is the captain himself down there, Mears. And it's Gurpal Singh with the ball. Here we go. And tuck and run off the mark first ball. Smith gets going immediately. Lewis Chapman at the other end. Show good determination first time round. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a beauty to bowl at a batsman for their first delivery. Well bowled Gurpal Singh, in again. And follows it up with a loose one, and despite the leg slip, oh, I think this Smith's taken one to the face there. <laughs> Bit of a staring match between the two captains. Mears was trying to throw that to the bowler's end, and I think he's caught Smith straight in the face. Bit of a laugh and a chuckle, and we move on. And Smith leaves alone. Leaves the ball well, Smith. If there is a criticism of him, it's that he can get bogged down at times. Not the most fluent player, but it will be up to him to show that he can turn crease occupation into a larger score. But he is watchful. Wide open stance. And down the ground, and that looks good. That's four. That's a lovely shot. Any batsman at any level of cricket will tell you, if you can get an on-drive away off the middle of the bat, nice and early in your innings, it sets you up. Really sets you a platform. You're feeling good, Nick, if you're putting an on-drive away early on. Low full toss. Straight bat. And he's placed that excellently. The two fielders are quite tight at mid-off and mid-on. There's not a lot of space between them. But he has absolutely nailed that. Couldn't have placed that any better. He'll feel good about himself after that, Smith. That is the end of the first over. It's six for none. The lead is above 50. And I think we are in for a bit of a delay here. That ball has got stuck in a crevice just off camera. So we'll just run through again as we weren't able to bring you footage. We'll just run through some of what you missed in that second innings. For Dan's 11, Bijal Patel made an excellent half century. Very, very fluent. But he didn't get a whole lot of support. Single figure scores all the way down until the number 9 Harvey Tiffin and the number 10 Dan Mears made 13 and 17 respectively. But Bijal Patel fought a lone battle against some magnificent bowling. Union McGregor, three overs, two maidens, three for four. He was excellent. Rob Maguire took a two for. Jake Butler, one for four in his three overs. James Maguire, Ricky Borrett, economical. And then the change bowlers, Smith, Fox, Saeed, all claimed the wicket each. And there was some ripping leg, skin, uh, leg spin from Vamsi Bogaretti. Wasn't able to take a wicket, but bowled beautifully. And Lewis Chapman contributed as well. But well in charge of this game, Alex is 11. The lead now 54. And I think... 
I think we're ready to get up and running again. I think they've got the ball. Just out of shot of camera, there is a little crevice at the base of a staircase, which I think is where the ball has got stuck under. But it looks as though they've done some digging and retrieved it. And it's going to be entrusted to Adam Stevens, the left armour. Bowled accurately in the first innings and barely went for a run, but didn't look too penetrating. His four overs went for just two runs. Bowled a little too short, mind. So he'll be looking to just get that length right in this innings now. It starts well at Chapman. Stevens again. Good again. That's a bit better from Stevens. Bit too short in the first innings, which helped keep the runs down, but didn't make him particularly threatening. Oh, that's a good delivery. Don't think there was a nick on it. Umpire unmoved. Not much of an appeal. That's nice from Chapman. He's the kind of player you want in this situation, Lewis Chapman. When you've got a healthy first innings lead, a player who's not going to throw his wicket away early. Digs in. Happy to take time out of the game. And if these two can get a partnership going, it will just take the game away from Dan's team. If these two are still here in 10 overs time, you would feel that that would be enough. He's played that well, Chapman, and he gets off the mark. Down to Murphy at square leg. And he keeps a strike as well. Decent over from Adam Stevens. Chapman survives it. Well, we wondered when we were going to see Alvin Safia, and here we are. Bowled brilliantly in the first innings. Dismissed Smith first time around. High pace. Wasn't able to contribute much with the bat. But he is a bowler they will be relying on to pull them back aim now. Dan's 11. They need wickets. They need early wits and lots of them. And this man represents their best hope. Into Chapman. And another bouncer. Just struggled with his line. Ah, he's been wided. High pace, quality cricketer. Oh, and he's gone short again. Not sure that short is the right option to go with Lewis Chapman. He's a very watchful player. He's not likely to be drawn into hooking or playing anything expansive. Get it up there and target the off stump would be the best ploy. But that's a bit too wide. And it is given. Butler again. So it's a bit of an off-colour start, this, from Safia. By his high standards, this has been a little bit loose. Oh, that's a good one, though. And is it four? Well, it's not given us four, and they've chosen not to run, so that's quite a strange decision. I think Smith at the non-strikers was under the impression that Lewis Chapman had got bat on that. Could have run a leg by there. Oh, it's a good delivery, and they'll run out. No, not to take a single this time. And the end of the over, three down, 11 for none. Solid start from Alex's team. They'll be happy with this. The lead is 59. Opener's still there, and Yusuf Sharif. Was probably the pick of the bowlers in the first innings, Yusuf Sharif. Didn't have the figures to show for it. One for 11. But he deserved better than that. Smith drives straight to the fielder. That's well played. Well bowled and well played. Got over the top of that. Just popped on him a little bit. I think it came maybe quite high off the bat. But ensured it went down. It was a good delivery from Sharif. That's a good delivery as well. And Smith right behind it. Got right across his stumps there. Almost outside off stump completely to get him behind that. Countering that in-swing that Sharif bowls so well. And again there. You can see the tactic from Smith. Get right across on off stump to Sharif's in-swingers. And nudge into the leg side and look for singles. He's played that well. It's a good bit of cricket from the opener. Will Chapman adopt a similar policy? Sharif into him now. Oh, he's cleaned him. Oh, he's bowled him and it is that in swinger. Gets it right and Lewis Chapman has gone. That's disappointing. Good nut that from Yusuf Sharif. Chapman coming right forward, just didn't cover it. Left the gap and it's gone straight through between bat and pad. Played across himself a little bit. 
Looks as though that bat was skewed towards mid-wicket slightly, and that's probably what's cost him there. But that's a good start for Dan's 11. Exactly what they needed. Early wickets are the order of the day. And they have got their first one on the board thanks to Yusuf Sharif. Brilliant start from him. And that brings to the crease Rob Maguire. Promoted to the surprise of everybody to number three for this game. And responded in fine style with an excellent 40. And he's earned the trust of the captain to stay at number three for the second digs. The left-hander. And he'll need to make a similar impact. That was a career-best 40 in the first innings. He was very impressive. For a bowler who's never batted up the order, he played like a frontline batsman with composure and quality. And he'll need to show much of the same here, but it was Yusuf Sharif that dismissed him first time round. And that will be in both of these players' minds now. As Maguire lines up to face his first ball. Here we go, Sharif. Uh, it's down leg side, and they'll take the single. I think that'll be a bite. I think the confusion here is whether he got pad on that or not. But there's definitely no bat involved. And he's given it as a bite. Yeah, and that is the end of the over. Good one, that from Sharif. Very good one. And it's got that key breakthrough. And Neil Murphy, excellent in the first innings. Bowled really, really well. Accurate. Not at high pace, but he moved the ball. Bowled some away swing on a length. Took three wickets. Bowled very, very well. That was a big bonus for Dan's team in that first innings and starts with a decent nut here as Rob Maguire looks to get into his innings properly that'll be a wide chucked it down leg as he gets loosened up Neil Murphy what a big bonus it was for him to get three fight got some good players out as well in that first innings as Maguire drives and they'll take single comfortably home Murphy's victims, Lewis Chapman, Nav Saeed, and Jake Butler. Some dangerous players there. If he can repeat the trick this time around, we may have an even contest on our hands. Dan's 11 need wickets. Sooner rather than later. And Smith leaves alone. Wonder if that's the right ploy for Alex Smith here with Neil Murphy on, if he could reel off some boundaries against the more part-time bowlers and get a score up quickly, it could change the game very quickly. Now it's a wide ball, so we can let him off that one. But you'd suggest he could be driving at some of these deliveries. Could be trying to get a score away early. If they could get to 30, 40 for one quickly, it would take a bit of the sting out of this match. Jabs down on it. That's a good over again from Neil Murphy. Couple of wides, but aside from that, he was accurate again. I think Smith could have gone after him a little more there, but he's chosen the more sedate option. Survival over scoring. Will that set the tone for this innings? Harvey Tiffin on now. Struggled in the first innings. One for 31. He got carted around a little bit by Vamsi Bogaredi, among others. And starts with a full toss here, and Maguire... Played that beautifully. It's a lovely strike from Rob Maguire. Think it's going to look good from this angle. Yeah, beautiful. Placement superb. There's a big gap at cover. And he's found it easily. Tiffin back over the wicket now. Another full toss. Called through for a single. Good running from both of them. No indecision there at all. Both of them went early and made it comfortably. Does run well between the wickets, Rob Maguire. He is quick. Very impressive he was in that first innings, and he started well here. And Smith has gone after Tiffin there, having just said Smith maybe wants to start opening out and looking to get a few boundaries away. Didn't get hold of that one. And goes back to his preferred option of leaving the ball. Tiffin, the debutant. Turns down the single, probably a good move. Sam Dennis has got a good arm. Agile fielder, one of the better fielders. Probably a smart option not to take him on there as Tiffin completes the over. And this time they will go. And they've got home comfortably. Good running again. That's been the theme of the inning so far, has been the running. 
Good from both of them. Six overs in, 24 for one. That's as good a start as Alex's 11 could have hoped for. They'll be disappointed to have lost Chapman early on. But they've ticked off runs without doing anything too flashy here. They've seen off Sathya. They've seen off Sharif. Still got Dan Mears to bowl in this rotation. And this man, Sam Dennis, who was impressive in the first innings. They'll take one there. Maguire calls him through. Good running. Good awareness from Rob Maguire. Don't think Smith was ready for that initially. And he applauds his partner there. That was good from Maguire. And this has been the most impressive thing about Rob Maguire is that he's played with the intelligence of a frontline batsman. For someone who's not done the role before, he's looked the part. That's well down leg. That'll be a wide and a bite. Sam Dennis, he was impressive for a frontline batsman. We didn't know what to expect from him with the ball in the first innings, but he was impressive. He tried things. That's a full toss. He was the most inventive of the bowlers, willing to try new things. Never let the batsman settle into a rhythm off of him. Picked up a couple of wickets. Impressive debut it was for Sam Dennis. First time around. And Smith's had a little jab at that one. Just feels like we're waiting for something to happen in this game. There's either going to be a flurry of runs or a couple of wickets. It feels like the dam's going to burst. Oh, what's that? That's a lollipop. Oh, he's hit it straight to the fielder. Wow, what about that? Smith sees the funny side. That was a bizarre bit of cricket. We saw Sam Dennis bowl one of these in the first innings as well. Caught him off guard. And I think there, Smith is so worried about not hitting that over the fence and getting out, out of bounds that he's forgotten to pick a gap. Bizarre bit of cricket. A good follow-up from Dennis. Smith digs it out. He'll feel he's missed out on a boundary there, Smith. That is the end of the over. Laughs it off. 28 for one. Partnership of 16. And it's going to be Bijal Patel. Oh, well in the first innings, Bijal Patel. Didn't have any rewards to show for it. But he was economical. Bowled accurately. Moved it both ways. Preferred to bowl the outswinger to the right-hander. And Maguire's knocked him away there. Well played. Good running again. They've been busy, these two. Not allowed the bowlers to settle into a rhythm. Rotated strike well. That's down leg. No wide call. They can just get going for another 10 or 20 minutes, these two. Then Alex's 11 will be in complete control of this game. Oh, he's bowled him! Oh, no! Oh, that's a disappointment. What a blow that is for Dan's 11. Just as Maguire and Smith were looking to pull this game away from them, they've responded. And he's just got it under the bat. That's a good delivery from Bijal Patel. That swung late. And swung quite a long way as well. Good delivery. Bit lazy from Smith. But just as these two were looking to calm things down and take the game away, Dan's 11 have hauled themselves back into it. You'd still say Alex's 11 will be the happier side at the moment, but if another wicket or two can go down quickly here, Dan's 11 will really, really fancy themselves. That was a good bit of bowling from Patel. Very good bit of bowling. And do we have a game on our hands here? They're going to have to get past Ricky Borat, player of the series last year. The most consistent batsman we've seen in backyard cricket so far. Looked a bit subdued in the first innings, looked a little bit out of sorts. It was a strangely scratchy innings from him. Normally such a fluent player. 25 or 43 deliveries is uh, not like him. Normally when he faces 40-odd balls, you'd expect him to be hovering around a half century. But he struggled to really get going. Played some nice shots, though. And he'll be looking to take control of this match now. But he's got to contend with Bijal Patel, who's got his tail up. That was an excellent delivery to remove Smith. Swung late and swung a fair distance. Started on leg and I think it hit off stump. Smith will feel his foot movement maybe could have been better. But at the same time, that's a good delivery. And if you get a good nut, sometimes you have to take your medicine and accept it. And it is 29 for two. And this, you'd feel, is a key partnership. The two 
senior batsmen now, or senior players at least, it would probably be unfair on Maguire to label him a senior batsman this early into his career up the order. But such is the expectation on him from how well he played in the first innings. He'll be expected to play like a frontline batsman here and get his team out of danger as Patel comes in to borrow. Off the mark, first ball. And despite the loss of Smith, that's an early indication that there's going to be no let up in the intense running between the wickets and rotating of the strike. And this is the field he's gone with Patel. So you'd feel the gaps there. Rob Maguire plays the late cut and the cut very well. So he'll be looking at that gap in between the very, very straight third man and point. And a nice looking gap for singles at mid wicket as well. That's a good delivery. That's an excellent over from Bijal Patel. Just what Dan's 11 needed. Hauled them back into the contest here. Very, very good. And it is the captain himself now, Dan Mears, who's going to look to build on that momentum that Patel has given him there. That was an excellent over. Mears to Borat. And for those who may remember, Ricky Borat's first ball in the first innings was from Dan Mears. And he was given not out, caught and bowled when there may well have been bat on it. So Mears will be out for a bit of revenge here. Safia darts it in. Decent bouncer followed by a low full toss. Bit of a mixed bag from Mears up to now. Oh, and they've gone. Safia, can he hit them? He has hit them. How is it? Looks out, is out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we've complimented Alex's 11 so far on their running between the wickets. But he's picked out the best fielder going to his strong side. I think he sold Maguire up a river there, Ricky Borat. He said yes. Alvin Sathia on his strong arm is not the man to take a single to. As impressive as the running has been in this innings, that is a bit of a suicidal one. And I don't think this is going to be close. Yeah, he's well out. Brilliant bit of fielding from Sathia. Magnificent from him. Rob Maguire will be furious. And I think the blame for that one does have to go to Ricky Borat. Desperate to get some runs under his name early on. We saw that in the first innings. Takes liberties early on in his innings with the singles, Ricky Borat, as he tries to get going. But I think he's chosen a bad one there. Rob Maguire just started to look settled. Just started to look good. And I think he's been sold a dud there. Complimented them on the running between the wickets so far. But when you've got a fielder as good as Alvin Sathya and the ball is hit to his strong hand, straight at him, it's just not a sensible run. Maguire looked annoyed coming off. That's a good delivery from Dan Mears to follow it up. Brilliant from him. Brilliant from Sathya. We shouldn't forget that, but that is a poor bit of cricket from Alex's 11. 30 for 3. Suddenly now, this game looks a lot more open. And dismissals like that are not going to help them. And they'll take a bye for that one. And even then, a bit of indecision. Now, Saeed ball watching there. Rather than listening to his partner. And the last bowler available in this rotation is James Crowther. And Nav Saeed is going to face him. That was a self-inflicted dismissal from Alex's 11, you'd have to say. And they can't afford too many of those while they're trying to build a formidable lead. They want to set a target above sort of 180-200 to feel that they're in complete control of this game. And they're not going to do it with suicidal running. Just misjudged that one. You can see what the plan was. They have been running well up to now. But at certain times, there are certain fielders that you really shouldn't take a liberty against. And that was one of those occasions. But Ricky Borat will need to keep his composure now. Get his head down. And it's Saeed who's going to face Crowder. Duck in the first inning, Saeed. A reckless shot it was, in all fairness. Poor shot. Hit over the fence at a time when his team was in a spot of bother. Senior player. A very, very valued member of this batting lineup. He'll need to take on the responsibility now. This is an important partnership. Crowder into Saeed. Oh, has he got glove on that? I think he's hit that. It's out. It's given. Oh, that's such a soft dismissal. In the space of two overs, Alex's 11 have thrown away two wickets. And Dan's 11 right back in the contest now. This is about as soft as you're going to see. 
He can do anything with that ball, Saeed. You can leave it or you can smash it. The one thing you don't do is waft lazily at it. It's a good catch from Dan Mears. Has to be said, going low to his left-hand side. That is a good bit of cricket from the wicketkeeper. Good catch, that low down. But for Nav Saeed, that is such a poor dismissal. And it completes a pair in the match for him. And by his high standards for a player of his quality, that is a poor couple of dismissals he's put on the board in this game. That is a lazy stroke. Well, they are shooting themselves in the foot here, Alex is 11. 35 for four. Three wickets have gone down for six runs. Turn this game on its head and suddenly Dan's 11 may be in control here. But Vamsi Bogaretti might be the ideal player for this situation. Hit his second ball for six in the first innings. Made 28 off 15. Tends not to muck around. So we'll see what he does here. That's over the top and it's six again. Well, what a start that is. On debut, Vamsi Bogaretti, second innings in a row. He's hit his second ball for six. What about that? Might be the ideal player in this situation. If he can come off for 20 minutes and get a quick 40... It'll change the game again. What a strike that is. That's a tennis shot. Brilliantly entertaining, Bogaretti. Oh, they're appealing for it. Don't think he's going to get this. Some noise from the field. But I don't think that's a wonderful appeal. We'll have another look at that. Let's see what we've got. Well, pitched outside leg. Might be going over the top. Other than that, it was pretty much plumb. It's good over, though, from Crowther. He's got the wicket, got the breakthrough. It's a big bonus. They'll be quite happy if you'd offered them at the start of that over. Ten runs off it, but a wicket. And the wicket of Nav Saeed. They would have gobbled your hand off. And Dan's 11... Well, they have roared back into this match in some style. A bit of it has been self-inflicted from Alex's 11, but at the same time, good bowling. Used his bowl as well in that rotation, Dan Mears, and he sensed the moment here and gone to the big gun. No delay. Alvin Sathya straight into the attack to get Ricky Borra out. Good captaincy, this, from Mears. Not saving him for later on. He sensed the moment, sensed the initiative, and he's trusting his best bowler to get rid of Alex's 11's best batsman. Big over in the context of the game, this. If he does get a wicket in this over, and it is the wicket of Ricky Borat, then you'd say Dan's 11 become favourites. Sathya's first over was a little off colour, but he doesn't normally need too long to find his radar. That's a good delivery. I think that's come off the knee. What an exciting start we've had here. It's been a brilliant test match all the way through. Ebbed and flowed. Good ball again. Borat lets it hit him. Been on the money this over Alvin Sathya. Big contest this. Oh, what about that? Is it LB? Has he caught it? Well, it can't be LB because he's played a shot. I don't think... There was bat on it for the catch behind. Look at the field he's got for him here. You notice this is a lot more aggressive now. Man in short on both the offside and the leg side. Oh, and he's had a waft. That's maybe not the best plan of action for Ricky Borat in this over. Just see this over off. Trying to impose himself. Trying to get on top of Sathya. Might be better off just letting it go. And gets right behind that. Can't be LBs. He's playing a shot. But Borat survives. And that over is done. Alvin Sathya is seen off. Ricky Borat has done his job there. What a fascinating match we have here. Who is in charge of this game? Dan's 11 have roared back into it with a vengeance. And it's Gurpal Singh to Bogareddy. Oh, and it's over the fence. It's another soft dismissal. Oh, no. Well, they're right under the cosh now. Dan's 11 well in charge of this game now, you'd have to say. That is a big wicket. That's the last of the frontline batsmen and Boga ready. Gone for six. In no time at all. Straight up in the air. 
You'd have to say it's another poor dismissal, but it has come from good tight bowling from Dan's team and the pressure and momentum they've built. But that is the fourth wicket in the last five overs. Turn this game on its head from 29 for one. They've lost four for 12. And Dan's 11 in charge of this game now completely. What a performance from them. What a turnaround. Trailing by 48 on first innings when Smith and Maguire got it to 29 for one. You'd think it was bubbling over nicely for Alex's team, but what a spell this has been from the bowlers. Helped by some brainless cricket from Alex's team, but they have been magnificent, Dan's team. Captain's got all his decisions spot on. And he's reaping the rewards. The bowlers have been excellent. Field settings have been good. He's used the bowl as well, Mears. And you'd have to say this is theirs to lose now if they can knock over the tail quickly. That's in the air and short. And where are they going for the single? He's hit the stumps, but I think he's home. And they're going to get another. In the end. Good running in the end. Elliot Fox was a bit lazy to get going there. It was a lazy stroke. Could have been caught if he'd hit it a bit cleaner. But the most important thing, they survive and they get the two runs. And a good ball again. Gurpal Singh has bowled well in this match. Figures don't really reflect it. Wicketless in the first innings, but he bowled nicely. Caused problems. Got his reward here with the wicket of Chapman, but Fox has played that nicely. That's a good stroke from Elliot Fox live wire cricket of Fox and he could be important here they're going to need something from him time that beautifully he's off and running in no time at all and it is Neil Murphy again what can he produce been impressive in this game with the ball and in the field Neil Murphy starts with a wide there though has had some problems with wides, but that's been the main source of his problems with the ball. When he's got it right, he's been very economical and very tight. He's been good. But it is the extras that may cause a problem here for Dan's 11. 20 already, 54 in the first innings. Ultimately, that may come to be the difference between the sides. It was certainly the difference between them in the first digs. Good ball, that from Murphy. Good delivery. Late decision from Borat to let it go. Shaping to drive initially. Look at that. Lost 31 balls. Four for 20. Flip this game completely on its head. Where's that? Pulled him through. Oh, I think he might have been in trouble had that hit. Fox was alert. Borat not so much. But they survive again. And that is the 50 up. And they've limped to that 50 rather than raced to it. Where's that? I think that's going to be four. Or it's carried all the way. It's six. So Fox not wasting any time here. Looking to impose himself on the bowling. Cashing in on loose deliveries. It's good from Fox. Good shot, that. Got his weight right through that. Yeah, well played. And that's what they've got to do. They've got to cash in on anything loose. From Neil Murphy. Can't let him settle into the rhythm that he did in the first innings. Oh, that's a good ball. Fox trying to cash in again there. Not quite short enough to get away. The lead is over 100 with that six as well from Fox. So it's a little milestone for Alex's 11, but at 56 for five. And Yusuf Sharif on to bowl. He is using his bowl as well here, Dan Mears. Getting his best bowlers at Ricky Borat's end. Using Safia, using Sharif to try and get Borat out. You'd feel Borat is the man who's going to decide this game now. If they get him out early, you'd fancy Dan's 11 to knock the rest over. If Borat stays in, he can send them to an above par target. But he takes the single. That's an interesting decision. No thoughts of shielding Elliot Fox, and that's not a criticism of Fox. He's an excellent player, but you'd just think with the delicate balance of this game, you'd want Borat facing the best bowlers. Now he's no-balled him. Or a wide, I think, in fact. Mears has still got an over in this rotation. So has Bijal Patel. And you'd think they'd both be aimed at Borat. Fox drives. Still think if I was Ricky Borat, I'd want to be facing these deliveries. Oh, no, what about that? That's a sitter. Oh, that's an awful drop from Yusuf Sharif. 
Oh, what has he done there? He dropped a couple in the first innings. This might be the worst of the... Oh, that's a dolly. Oh, no. Well, you can't drop those. His bowling and his ground fielding have been superb in this test match. The, catch him is, the catching has let him down. And that... Wow, you can't get an easier chance off your own bowling. That is a shocker from Yusuf Sharif. Needs to put that out of his head, but that's kind of proof of what we're saying. You wanted Borat at this end, really. Fox will give chances. Not a criti uh, criticism of Elliot Fox. He's a good player, but you want your best batsman facing the best bowlers when the game's in the balance like this. And they're going to take the single. Oh, where are they going? Both in the middle. Oh, what are they doing? This is another one. Oh, no. Suicide from Alex's 11. Another careless run out. Another awful dismissal. Wow, who is at fault here? This is a dreadful bit of cricket. Fox knocks it to Crowther's weak side. And then they have a little mother's meeting in the middle. Little tea break for themselves. It's a poor throw, but Mir's able to take it. Just in time. Apologies, we lost a bit of the footage there. Oh, what are they doing? You go. No, I'll go. No, after you. No, wait. I think I'll go. No, I'll go back. I'll see you later. Borat fuming, but I think he's got to take his share of the blame there. That's Elliot Fox's call. Can see both sides of that. On the one hand, that's Fox's call, and Borat has to trust his partner and go if he says go. And if they both go straight away, there probably is a single to Crowther's weak side. But at the same time, Elliot Fox, maybe it's a risk in this situation to take the run. Well, it's poor from both of them, really. Both of them need to accept their share of the responsibility. It's another suicidal dismissal. Another dreadful bit of cricket. And it brings Ewan and McGregor to the crease, and they need something from him, the debutant. And he gets off the mark, first ball with a boundary, played that well. Looked in good order in the first innings, Una McGregor, looked organised. It was a surprise when he was dismissed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please leave a comment below the video and tell us whose fault you think that dismissal was. I think it's a bit of both. But I do think if Elliot Fox calls yes, Ricky Borrett should commit and go, should trust his partner and he hasn't done. But both batsmen will be disappointed in themselves there. Awful dismissal, that. The worst possible thing to happen in this situation when you're fighting a brilliant wave from Dan's 11. All the momentum and initiative is against you. Do not give a daft run out away. And it's the second of this innings. You'd have to say, really, the last four dismissals have all been self-inflicted. They have come as a result of pressure and good bowling, but at the same time, four awful dismissals for Alex's team. Oh, what can they do to save this game now? That's a wide from Tiffin. That'll be what cost Dan's 11 here. Don't throw the momentum away with silly extras. These little two runs here and there are going to be important. Every run is going to count now. 26 extras already here. Elliot Fox, the only player to reach double figures up to now, but 26 extras. That's another wide. That could be important. It's a wasted over that from Tiffin. Didn't really make them play at anything there. Who's next? It is going to be Bijal Patel to Ricky Borat. Again, using his bowlers well, Dan Mears. All his best bowlers on at Ricky Borat. Knows that Borat is under pressure having been involved in two runouts and knowing that the game rests on Borat's shoulders using all his frontline bowlers against him and Borat has learnt from his mistake with the Maguire dismissal not taking a single to Alvin Safia's right hand this time around what a brilliant game well he's taking it again this time though Whoa. well that one was a bit less of a risk because Sathya had to cover a lot of ground to get there. But even so, he really does live on the boundaries, Ricky Borat. That's a nice shot from McGregor. Played that well.
Low full toss. Nice looking stroke. Lazy fielding from Stevens. Could have done a bit better there. But all the same. McGregor, eight off three balls. Oh, and he's bowled him. And it's another one. And Dan's 11. What a performance this has been from them. It's 73 for seven. They are blasting Alex's team away. This has been magnificent. And Bijal Patel, another good nut from him. Long way forward, McGregor. Didn't get down to it. In between bat and pad. What a performance this has been. Dan Mears. His side have bowled brilliantly. They've been led well. Some sloppiness in the field at times. But when it's counted, they've been excellent. What a performance this is. They have hauled themselves in front of this game. We said they needed wickets and plenty of them first up. Well, how they've responded. 73 for 7. And the lead of 121. You'd feel anything below 150. Dan's team will fancy chasing it. If they can knock the tail over, well in charge. James Maguire, what a big job he's got on his hands now. At number nine, just him and Jake Butler to go. The important thing for Alex's 11 is that there is a last man standing. So the good news for them is that Ricky Borat can't get left stranded if Maguire and Butler go cheaply. Dan's 11 will have to dismiss Ricky Borat to win this test match. And that is the bonus for Alex's team. And you'd feel now the target will just be, can we get anything over 150? The lead is 121 at the moment. Maguire sees off the last two balls from Patel. What a performance from Dan's team. Absolutely magnificent. 73 for 7. Alex's side all over the place. It's been carnage, really. Some good bowling, some good fielding, some dreadful dismissals. As well as some good ones. And they are right up against it here. And they're not going to take one for that. James Maguire can bat though. It is worth mentioning he can hold a bat. This is not a complete rabbit we're looking at here. Maguire, and he is a sensible cricketer. He is a clever cricketer. But he's really, really going to need to deliver for his team here. A lot of pressure on James Maguire and on Ricky Borat here. Ricky Borat, no stranger to pressure and no stranger to being the man of the moment. But there is that added bit of strain of knowing he's been involved in the two runouts. The one from Rob Maguire, definitely you'd have to put the blame on Borat. And then Borat and Fox between them have nosed up the second dismissal. Maguire survives. 17 overs gone. A brilliant, brilliant test match we've had here. Right throughout this game, it's been next to impossible to know who's in front. And then when a team has got their nose ahead, they've immediately been pegged back. And this is better than Dan's 11 could ever have hoped for. 74 for 7. Oh, nicked. Oh, no. Land short. Don't think you can really pin any blame on Mears behind the stumps there. It would have been incredible if he got a hand to that, but it landed just short of slip. And Borat plays the same shot and gets a very, very different result this time. First boundary for him. Yeah, he's played that well. Murphy at point didn't stand much of a chance there. That flashed past him. Ricky Borat came in at number four. And... Having been joined by the number nine, he's just got his first boundary away. Watched all the carnage unfold at the other end, Borat. Oh, that's an awful delivery from Crowther. That's another of those deliveries that they have to cut out. With the match so finely balanced as it is. Make sure you get it between the tram lines. Don't give sloppy runs away. Borat is capable of taking any bowler to the cleaners. Don't make it easier for him. But by and large, it's been a pretty decent over from Crowther. They take the single. Not a bad one, that, from Crowther, besides a sloppy wide in there. Sam Dennis now. 
Just him and Damir's left in this rotation. So he saved two of his strong bowlers for the end here. Need to get Borat out. And you feel Dennis is a good player to have bowling in this situation at Ricky Borat. Like we said earlier, he has been very inventive, come up with new ideas. He is not going to let this game drift, Sam Dennis. He won't let Ricky Borat have an easy time of it. Oh, he's giving him a lollipop. Saw him by one of them at Smith earlier on. And he's been punished by Borat here. Got right hold of that. Trying something different, Dennis, but that's too short. Blasted for six. That'll make Borat feel a little better. Oh, swung at that. Oh, he's been wided. That looks... Probably a fair call from the umpire. Borat did have a flash at it, but it was overhead height. Probably the right decision from the umpire. But despite the wide, that's actually not a bad bit of bowling from Dennis. Could easily have been a top edge into the roof. Had Borat connected with it. Not a great follow-up, though. Dennis to Borat. And he's had a go at it again. I think that's what he was trying to do with the first bouncer that was wided. Get him cramped up. Get him flashing. You know Borat will play the pull shot and play the hook shot. He won't shy away from it. Dennis trying to bring the top edge into play. And again, but Borat gets his one down. Wins that battle, Ricky Borat. That was good cricket from both there. It was good cricket from Sam Dennis. Had a clear plan and stuck to it. But Ricky Borat got the better of him. So good cricket from both. Got right over the top of that, Borat. Almost a swat. But those runs could be important. The lead of 141. And in the space of one over, this game looks a little different now. Mears to Maguire. Needs to make a breakthrough. New, ro bowl uh, new bowling rotation after this over, so we can get his frontliners back on. But you'd feel Mears would desperately want to make a breakthrough now and get Maguire out. But he starts with a boundary. Didn't look overly comfortable there, Maguire. I think it was a bit of a one-handed flick at it, but he's picked a gap. Most important thing, four runs, and he's off the mark. Played that nicely. That was a confident stroke from Maguire. His great skill, James Maguire, is that he plays the situation that he's in. Clever cricketer. Very quick to realise what's needed of him with bat and ball in any situation. And sticks to it. And he knows his job here is just to stay there. Just to keep Borat company for as long as possible. Doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't have to look pretty. Just stay there. And for Mears, his job, get him out. He's not been able to do so up to now in this over. Couple of deliveries left. That's uh, a loose one. Got to give him something to play at. And he hasn't done there. He'll be disappointed, Mears. Rushed that over a little bit. Really got through that one quickly. By and large, he's been pretty much flawless in this innings, though, Dan Mears. Bowled and captained well. And he's reaped the rewards. But this partnership will just be an irritant if it goes on for too much longer. Already up to 24. The stand between these two. Seen off four completed overs. But the new bowling rotation and a new ball. So double jeopardy for Alex's team. And it looks like, understandably, it's going to be Alvin Safia. As we review what's gone on in this test match so far. Brilliant, brilliant game. And Dan's 11 roared back in some style with the ball. But this partnership of 24 will be a little bit of a concern to them. They want this done and dusty quickly. Don't want to be chasing really too much more than 150. Anything over 180, you'd say Alex's 11 become favourites again. But that's still a long way off for the moment. Ah, that's a poor, poor delivery from Safia. He has been off colour in this innings, but brilliantly first time around. Not quite been able to find his best in his two and a bit over so far. Not threatened as much as you'd expect. And they really need him to turn it on now. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. That's four. 
Uh, interesting that he's given this. I think that did come off the boot of the umpire, and I think that's what that Mears is saying to Maguire there, that it should be a dead ball. I think it's hit the umpire. Yeah, it's flicked off his boot. We should see from this angle whether it's had any effect. Well, you can see the fielders wouldn't have got near it anyway, so maybe that's why the umpire has felt a little generous and a bit lenient. But technically, I think that should be a dead ball. That's a poor delivery from Safia. Maguire doing an excellent job so far. Showed a lot of courage and fortitude. Stood up to the task so far. Played for the team, played for his partner. 100 up for Alex's team. That's going to be another wide, another poor delivery. This has been a really disappointing over from Safia. Mears will have expected better from his best bowler with a new ball, relying on him to make a breakthrough. And he's been a bit sloppy. Extras up to 38. And we said that that could be a difference maker. 54 in the first innings, 38 here. And they've seen off Safia. And I think it's going to be Mears again. Captain's going to take control of this now. Partnership 33 and becoming an irritant. A big irritant. And Mears has said enough is enough. Trusts himself to make the breakthrough. Needs to deliver for his side here. They have got to get a wicket sooner rather than later. Mears to Borat. Down leg side. If they could get Borat, that would be the perfect scenario. But at the moment, they'll take any wicket no matter how it comes. This partnership has taken a bit of sting out of the game. The pair of these two have been excellent. There's an appeal. Mears doesn't look too enthusiastic about it. Don't think he's hit it. Half appeal from Mears and Crowther behind the stumps. Not much from anybody else. Discussing it with the umpire, though. In again to Ricky Borat. And he's got a thick edge on that for four. Valuable, valuable runs. Didn't time it well. Didn't go where he intended, but valuable. Every boundary massive in the context of this game. Borat hanging on in there. Not been fluent again. And they take a bye. Another delivery down leg side and a cheap run given away. Too many of these from Dan's team throughout this game. For all the brilliance of their bowling, this has let them down. Can he get Maguire? Oh, nearly. I think he got toe on it into the ground. Has he got a bat on that? Can they get him? Nah, I don't think that's going to be out. Leg bite. But it's another over seen off. Another over this partnership survives. This is turning into a crucial, crucial intervention from Maguire and Borat here. Just started to turn the tide now. Partnership is 39. Gurpal Singh, the next man to try and break through. Dot ball. Well, this is becoming vital now for Alex's 11, this partnership. Every run counting, and those will count some. That's six. Lovely shot from Maguire. Beautiful piece of timing. Just got underneath it. Got it on the middle of the bat. Straight over the top. He's hit that wonderfully. Almost chipped it. Half volley. Brilliant stroke. He's up to 14 of the most valuable runs you could imagine. This has been outstanding from both of these two. Partnership up to 45. They have really turned this game on its head. Last wicket fell in the 16th over. And we're halfway through the 23rd now. Big frustration for Dan's team. That's uh, again not making him play. That's another over that goes by. 118 for seven. Brilliant from these two. And who's next? It looks like it's going to be Sharif again. Been decent again today, Sharif. Made one breakthrough, but they've needed more from him. A lot of strain on the better bowlers from Dan's 11, especially with Safia having an off day. That's down Lakeside. Too many of those as well. There's been far too many deliveries that Alex's team haven't had to play at. 
particularly in this partnership. Sharif in again. Oh, and that's silly from Gurpal Singh, and that'll be a single. Just some signs of frustration in the field now. They weren't taking the run. There was no need for him to hurl it in like that. Even off the stumps, they might have gotten an overthrow anyway. Poor bit of cricket. And they take it this time. Good running that time. Decent arm from Stevens, But sensed that it was going to his weaker right-hand side. So took the chance. Just some signs of frustration in the field, though, for Dan's team. Just some signs that some heads have started to drop. And good again. Testing Singh. But he's home. Looking for another. Good piece of running again. Three successive singles. Will irritate Yusuf Sharif. It will irritate Dan Mears. Fielders needing on their toes. Good batting from these two. Excellent partnership batting. And Sharif to Maguire. In the air. They're calling through for another. Slow to get going, Maguire. And now they'll take the single. And again, some sloppiness from Dan's 11. Nobody backing up. Wheels starting to come off, it seems, here a little bit. This partnership really sucking the life out of Dan's team. Very good running from these two. And we'll have a look at that again. Tiffin initially, bore it back and off the stumps. Nobody backing it up. And an easy single. It's a bit of sloppy cricket from Dan's team. The kind of thing you start to see when heads have dropped and spirits have dampened a bit. It may well be the case for them here. And will they run this one? No. Sensible. Well, a good over that for Alex's team. Those four singles almost mean more than a boundary would have done. Just to upset the fielders a little bit more. Really smart cricket from these two. Partnership 49, and it has the feel of a match-winning one about it now. Left alone. Too short again. It's been a trend for Stevens in this test match. Economical, but too short to really be too threatening. And too wide on that occasion as well. Two balls in this over. Two that Maguire hasn't had to play at. A little microcosm of what the problems have been in the last 20 minutes or so. And again, another loose delivery. And that does bring up the 50 partnership. Brilliant from these two. Borat, not looked his fluent best, but he's dug in, fought for every ball, fought for every run, played for his team. And a word on James Maguire. How good has he been? Showed here why Alex Smith was so desperate to pick him in selection. Maybe he doesn't have the raw talent that his brother has, but he has shown character and courage in abundance in this innings, and he has that priceless, valuable knack of being able to produce his best in the key moments. And that's what he's done here. Struggled with the bat last year, got a duck in the first innings here, but when the team has needed him most, he's dug through the 50 partnership between these two has been absolutely excellent and has the feel of a partnership that is proving decisive. Already an air around this ground that this partnership is a match-winning one. Dan's team have gone flat and these two absolutely outstanding. And it's Murphy now. Hoping for anything now, Dan's team. A little sense that they might have run out of ideas here. Just too many loose deliveries have allowed this partnership to settle. And that's four. Down the ground. Borat finds his timing. And what's been good about this partnership is they've taken pressure off each other. In the times when Borat has been fluent and free scoring, Maguire has dug in and given him what he needed, a stable partner at the other end. But what's been great about this innings from Maguire is that when Borat has been struggling and has been tied down, Maguire has picked off the odd boundary to keep the pressure on and take the pressure off his partner. And the result is what we're seeing here. Ricky Borat is just starting to cut loose. Two fours in this over already. Just signs now that Ricky Borat is looking to motor on a little bit and really nail home the advantage. He's starting to take this game away. Job's not quite done yet. Dan's 11 with some quick wickets would still feel they can chase this target. But these boundaries are going to help. And the quicker they get them, the more it'll suck the wind out of Dan's team. This is really good batting. We'll have a look at those three boundaries again from Borat in that over. Drill down the ground. Flick off the legs. Brilliant placement there. 
And then this is a drag down from Murphy that gets the treatment. Brilliant from Ricky Borat. These two really taking control of this game. Stepped up in the team's biggest time of need. And it's going to be Sam Dennis round the wicket again. 63 the partnership from 73 for 7. Dan's 11 all over this game. Complete dominance. And then these two get together and everything changes and it looks as though it may be changing irreversibly now. I'm not sure what he's given here. I think he's given a no ball. Check in with the square leg umpire. Yep, yeah, and he has given the no ball. So another extra two runs, another vital two runs, as every one of this partnership has been. 45 extras. We've said it a lot throughout this test, but it really bears mentioning again. 54 extras in the first innings and 45 here. A match total of 99. How different this game would have been with a bit of discipline from the bowlers on Dan's team. And they can't help but wonder where they would have been right now if it wasn't for all the wides and the buys and leg buys from loose balls down leg. Might have won this game comfortably. Especially had they held their catches in the first innings. They've caught well in this innings. But in the first innings there were at least five drops. A lot of the damage has been their own doing. And Maguire has a dart at that one. And that's just a sign of the confidence running through these two for the state of the game. Maguire would never have gone after that ball earlier in this innings. But just a sign now that they're looking to open out. They believe they're close to having this game in the bag. And even Maguire now looking to play a few shots. Not able to get back on any of those. So, bar that no ball, it would have been a maiden for Dennis. Another decent one from him. He's been impressive. And it's up to Bijal Patel now. Only himself, Harvey Tiffin and James Crowther left in this rotation. So, as has been the case in this innings, Mears using his best bowlers when Borat is on strike. And Patel has been one of his better ones today. Two for seven. The early dismissal of Smith. And then removed Ewan and McGregor in the middle of all that carnage earlier on when Alex's 11 were losing a wicket every over, it seemed. Oh, and that's sloppy again. Wheels really starting to come off for Dan's team now. Heads down. Very quiet in the field now. And this is a symptom of where they feel the game is at now. Very, very poor from Dennis, who's been good in the field up to now. He's been energetic. But this partnership has just sucked the air out of them. That's a good bit of running. Another single. And that brings up 70 deliveries since the last wicket. 70 deliveries, this partnership, which is now 70. Run a ball. Oh, he sliced it. It's in the air and he's caught it. Well, it's a good catch low down from Sam Dennis. Makes up for his mistake earlier in the over. Bijal Patel has another wicket. That's the end of a brilliant partnership. James Maguire goes. But what a hand he's played here. Good catch that from Dennis. Well, it won't look outstanding on a scorecard, 16. But that, in the context of this match, is a priceless knock. Well played, James Maguire. The partnership 70 at the most valuable time. And Jake Butler's the new man. And what a position this is for him free swinging player and if he can rattle off two or three boundaries here it will just be the uh, the icing on the cake for Alex's team the lead is 191 they'll want that over 200 Borat eyeing a 50 and Jake Butler a bit of freedom for him here to come in and play his natural game and when he gets going he's a fabulous watch a note as well about Bijal Patel look at those figures 3 for 12 amid the carnage he has been excellent really good from him his career best figures Full toss. Oh, and it's bowled him. Well, that's a bit of a disappointment. A bit of a whimper from Jake Butler. His second duck of the match. He follows Nav Saeed in picking up a pair. Full toss, and he's just missed it completely. Don't think it's done too much. I think he's just played inside of it. Poor dismissal from Butler. But the good news for Alex is 11. Like we mentioned earlier, there is a last man standing, which means they do have to dismiss Ricky Borrett to end this innings down Mears and with Borat eyeing a 50 and the lead at 191 
He'll be feeling that if he can hang around and get sort of 15 or 20 more at least here, then that will turn a probable win into an almost certain victory. Good bowling from Bijal Patel. Best figures in this test match now. First player of the series to get a forfeit. And deserves it. He's been good. Four for 12 represents an excellent effort. Some good wickets among those two. Smith at the top, McGregor, Maguire to break the partnership. And then not making a fuss of Jake Butler. Would have been incredibly annoying for Dan Mears if Butler had got going and rattled a few boundaries away. So that is a little bit of a boost. But a lot of concentration needed here. They've still got to get rid of Borat and that's another boundary for him. Flicked off the legs. Loose delivery. I don't think he middled it, Borat. But there is a big gap on that leg side. And James Crowther, the last bowler in this rotation before the frontliners can come back on. Just him and Harvey Tiffin left. Can Borat cash in on the part-timer? Did pick up a wicket earlier on. Nav Saeed from an awful, lazy stroke down the leg side at a time when it looked like Alex's 11 were throwing this game down the toilet. And where's that? That's four. Picked the gap really, really well there, Borat. That's nicely played. Got hold of it. Sam Dennis in close at square leg. He's picked the gap between him and mid-wicket. Still a bit of a lazy one-handed effort out there. But a good shot from Borat. Takes him to within one of a half century. Brings up the 150 and that's a nick behind. Not got hold of that one. The lead, a run away from 200. Dan's 11 will require 200 to win. They will require the highest innings of the match to win. Doesn't look likely, you'd have to say. Especially with the quality that Alex's 11 has with the ball, you would feel that this is going to take one player having a real day out for Dan's 11 to win this. They're going to need the likes of Dennis Patel, Gurpal Singh, Crowther himself. One of those is going to have to come off if they're going to pull off a miracle here. It is going to take one big partnership, but before they can get to that stage, they still have to get this last wicket. Still have to remove Ricky Borat. He has been excellent. A real struggle for his first 20 or so runs. Really, really dug in. Battle for survival, but since then, he's got himself going. Rotated strike well. Picked up boundaries regularly. And hasn't been drawn into really anything silly. And when you consider the two runouts earlier in the piece, he's done brilliantly to put those out of his head. Ricky Borat. Done well to forget those runouts, forget his part in those, put it all to one side and just do what his team needs him to. And he's gone above and beyond here. Deserves a half century if he can get it. Yeah, he's not going to get it that time. Well fielded from Safia. This will be a little confidence booster for Tiffin if he can keep the runs down in this over as well. It's been a struggle for him with the ball this test match. Likely to be his last over. Unless Borat can hang around even longer than expected. And it'll be nice for him if he can just deliver another dot ball here. Keep things tight. And he does. Had a flash at that one. 151 for 9. And we are back onto a new bowling rotation, so it'll be Alvin Safia. Not his finest day with the ball, and that has been a big problem for Dan's team. He was brilliant in the first innings, but he struggled here. And that became important when the partnership between Borat and Maguire got going. They would have been relying on Safia to do the job there. Has he hit that? Don't think so. No appeal from the bowler. Umpire indicates it came off probably the knee. But a good start to this over from Safia. And again, Borat lets it hit him. This is better from Safia. Possibly a little too late. And he'll run a bite. Alex. 
easy to do now for Ricky Bora. Anything that goes through the wicketkeeper, you can run because they'll have to throw the full length of the pitch to run him out. Have to throw to his end, the bowler's end. And that's what we're seeing again here. Sloppy again from Dan's 11. Poor from Sam Dennis. No backing up as well from the fielders behind. All a little switched off now. And that's going to be four, and that's a 50. Soaks in the applause of his teammates. That has been a fantastic effort from Ricky Borat. Very, very good. Half century. And without him, this match looks different. The partnership between him and Maguire, the match-winning one. And it's Bijal Patel with a chance at a five for here. Well played, Ricky Borat. His fourth backyard 50 in four test matches. Brilliant run of form he's been on. That's good fielding from Mears. The captain standard haven't dropped. Even if those of some of his teammates may have done. Brilliant from Borat. Where's that? That's straight to the fielder. Just some field adjustments for Patel here. Trying to work out how they get rid of the left hand up. Straight to the fielder again. Good fielding from Tiffin that time. Been brilliant here, Patel, but his biggest role is yet to come. He may be one of those that needs to put in a big performance to chase this down. Going to need over 200. Good ball. It's been a good over again from Bijal Patel. Just a single off it so far. But again, he's been disciplined. Again, he's been probing. And left alone again. Fifers in this format don't come around very often. We haven't yet seen one. Four for ten from Rob Maguire in the third test last year. The best figures we've seen in backyard cricket up to now. Patel has a chance of beating them here. If he can get this last wicket, and he can't get the single. Oh, and he's going to take another. Murphy not paying attention. And they're throwing again. He's gone again this as well. And it's all gotten a little bit village there. But Ricky Borat has got three off of that. Again, it's loose in the field. But it's clever from Ricky Borat. Aggressive from Ricky Borat. Excellent from him. And let's have a look at what he's done here while we wait for the new over. What a 50 this has been. Sit back and enjoy some of these. That was a misfield. Really, really good from Ricky Borat. Powerful, clever, picked his gaps. Noticeable in that compilation. Not many of those boundaries close to fielders. Placement has been very, very good. Excellent half century from him. The first half century of the 2021 series. And more to come yet. That's a bite. What can Yusuf Sharif produce? Dan's 11 will just be desperate for this to end now. Oh, and it may do there. Is that over the bounds? It is. And that ends a fabulous innings. Probably a match-winning innings. 162 all out. Brilliant from Ricky Borat. Yusuf Sharif has a well-deserved second wicket. And the target is going to be 211. So 211 the target, 162 the final score, an innings pretty much built around Ricky Borat and James Maguire, those two were excellent. And this is the state of the game, confirmation there, the target 2-1-1 to win, looks unlikely but miracles do happen. Join us for the fourth innings and we'll see how they get on.